Good morning children. Now today we have science and we will do chapter 5 food we eat. So here in food we eat we have food we eat food groups vitamin fibers and water healthy and junk food food habits vegetarians and non-vegetarians. But for today, we will do up to vitamin, fibers and water. That is food we eat, food groups and vitamin, fibers and water. And I will be teaching healthy and junk food, food habits in the next class. So here, now let us read food we eat. Now this is my corner. So look at the pictures carefully and write the name of the meal being eaten below each picture. Now you have to write the name of the meal below each picture. Now for example, we eat three meals a day. So you look at the time and look at the sky as well and you have to find out which meal it is. Now here, stars are there, moon stars. It is 8 p.m. So that it means evening, night time. So this is dinner. You can write dinner here or supper. Understood? It is called dinner or supper. That is the meal that you have in the at night. And next is sun is shining. 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. in the morning. You can see cornflakes. So naturally this is breakfast breakfast this meal is breakfast this meal is dinner all right now this meal it is in the afternoon 2 p.m. in the afternoon so what is this boy having lunch all right this meal meal is called lunch so here now let's start with food we eat you have learned in class 1 that a particular type of food that we eat at a particular time of the day is called a meal, M-E-A-L, meal. We eat three meals in a day. So what are these? Breakfast, lunch and dinner. The names of the three meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. So the food we eat gives us energy to work, play, study, think and do many other activities throughout the day. So healthy food helps our body to grow and to remain fit. We eat different foods such as fruits, vegetables, rice, wheat, dals, curd, cheese, butter, bread, eggs, meat, paneer and fish. We drink milk, juices, tea and coffee. We get different foods from plants and animals. They are known as sources of food. So here food from plants. We get food from plants. Mango, corn, green gram, green lentil, wheat, pea, and food from animals, cheese, butter, eggs, fish, and meat. So these are the two sources of food. That is, from where do we get food? We get food from plants and animals. So why do we need to eat food, children? We need to eat food because it gives us energy to work, play, run, study and think. So whatever we do, like while working, playing, running, studying and thinking, we need to have a fit body. Supposing if we do not eat properly, our body becomes weak and we will not be able to, we do not feel like doing anything. We don't feel like doing anything. We feel lazy, our body becomes very weak. So just like a car needs petrol to run, 
So if the petrol finishes in a car, what happens? It stops, isn't it? In the same way, our body also needs food. So when we eat food, then our body works properly because the food that we eat gives us energy. So because of this energy, we are able to run, move about, play, and we are able to think properly. So in this way, food helps our body to grow and remain fit also. So children, do you know from where the food comes from? Food comes from plants and food comes from animals, plants and animals. Whatever we eat, we uh, comes from plants and animals. So plants and animals are the two sources of food. And next we have food groups. So let us read food groups. Our body needs different kinds of food in the correct quantity. So let us learn about the three main food groups here. One is energy giving foods. These are the foods that provide a lot of energy to the body. Wheat, rice, maize, sugar and potatoes are examples of energy giving foods. Next, bodybuilding foods. These are the foods that help the body to grow and make it strong. They also help the body to repair any damaged parts. Milk, cheese, paneer, butter, eggs, meat and fish are examples of bodybuilding foods. Such food items also help build healthy teeth, bones and muscles. Now protective foods. Fruits and vegetables protect us from falling sick. They guard the body against diseases. We call such food items protective foods. Now here the different food groups. The three different food groups are energy giving foods, bodybuilding foods and protective foods. The energy giving foods are here like bread, sugar, potato, wheat, rice. All these foods give us energy. All these foods give us energy. And next we have bodybuilding foods. Body filling foods like milk, paneer, fish, meat, eggs, butter. All these are bodybuilding foods. And the bodybuilding foods mostly um, are milk products and meat. Milk products and meat. The things that we uh, get from milk. So it is animal. It comes from animals, isn't it? So bodybuilding foods are foods that come from animals. All right. Now next, protective foods. Fruits and vegetables protect us from falling sick. I have already read this. So what are the protective foods? The protective foods are nuts, vegetables and fruits. These are all protective foods. So it is very important for children to have vegetables and fruits. Some children don't have vegetables. Some children don't like fruits. So it is very important that you should eat vegetables and fruits so that you do not fall sick and it protects you against diseases. All right. So that is why these fruits and vegetables are called protective foods. Now next is vitamins, fibers and water. Vitamins, fibers and water. Let's read. Fibers are important nutrients that our body needs to get energy and maintain good health and growth. They help the body to work properly. We get vitamins from fruits, vegetables, eggs and milk. So vitamin is also an important nutrient that our body needs to get energy. 
So these are the things that we have to eat. Fruits, vegetables, eggs and milk. We get vitamins from these things. Okay. So now next is fiber. Fiber is a very important part of a diet as it helps the body in throwing out waste. Fiber in food helps in the proper digestion of food. Most vegetables, grains and dals provide fiber. Now here you can see green lentil, fruits, vegetables. These are fiber rich food. We get fibers from these. Fibers are substances found in these fruits, green lentil and vegetables. Fibers are very important because it is an important part of a diet because it helps the body to throw out the waste matter. So whatever you eat, the body takes very little of it. And whatever is not wanted, it is thrown out as waste. So like, um, for example, you go to the restroom or toilet. So why do you go? Sometimes your um, stomach starts paining, that means... Uh, the digestion you haven't digested the food properly isn't it then what happens the waste matter is thrown out the waste matter is thrown out only some part of the food that we eat is used by the body all right so uh, that is why to throw out the waste matter fiber is very important so these fiber we get from these things most vegetables, grains and dals provide fiber. So children, you have to have dal, you have to have fruits, you have to have vegetables to throw out waste from your body. To throw out the waste from your body. Okay. And water is also very important. We have to drink plenty of water. And... But one thing you have to remember, you should not drink dirty water. So water is an essential part of a healthy diet. We must drink plenty of water every day. But make sure that the water you drink is clean. Alright, for today this much. So please learn all these. Why vitamins, fibers and water are important for our body. So fiber helps in the proper digestion of food you have to remember this okay and there are three food groups energy giving foods bodybuilding foods and protective foods so we have to have food we have to mix up all the foods energy giving food bodybuilding food and protective food in our everyday um, meal we have to have energy giving food we have to have bodybuilding food. We have to have protective food. All these foods together. Otherwise our body becomes weak. So we should not have one particular type of food only. We have to mix up all in proper quantity. In correct quantity and eat. Okay. Now thank you children. Please read.